hiya, buenos dias and welcome to my YouTube channel here at Benidorm and beyond. I'm an English woman who's lived here in the resort for over 20 years and my aim is to give you a fresh and different take on all there is to see, do and enjoy in Benidorm and the surrounding areas. So here we go. Today I'm taking you for a walk along a section of Avenida de Cuenca in the new town area, starting at the top end and taking you as far down as a junction with Quay Lepanto. With a plethora of shops, bars, restaurants and hotels on this long road, there's plenty to see, so let's get started. We start on our left hand side where we see the family run sports bar and restaurant, the Titanic, which was closed on the day I filmed, so maybe they are having a break after the festive period. With a play area for children attached, this bar always gets fabulous reviews for both its food and service, so it's certainly a place to try if you're looking for some British pub grub whilst in this area. Moving down the street, we pass the access to the Hotel Marina's private parking zone, and after an ATM and an empty unit that used to be Dexter's family pub, which now appears closed for good, We pass a large mini-mart called Super Mercado Paraiso, which sells daily newspapers, sun care products, sunglasses and small souvenirs, along with a good selection of food and drink at fairly reasonable prices. This of course would be particularly handy for guests at the self-catering Vistamar Holiday Apartments by Click Benidorm, which we see next. With 80 apartments over 20 floors, each apartment has its own balcony with views down to the Mediterranean Sea. The complex offers two swimming pools, pool tables and a bar, along with vending machines for if you should suddenly get peckish in the night. The complex is currently ranked 13th out of 101 apartments in Benidorm on TripAdvisor UK and they have a 3.5 out of 5 customer rating, putting them in the very good category. We now cross Quay Lerida where we see another ATM immediately followed by the private apartment block Edificio Gijón. After walking past their extensive grounds and parking area, we then come to the three-star Caballo de Oro, or Golden Horse Hotel, which has 242 rooms which are all fully renovated in 2011 over its 11 floors. It is currently ranked 115th out of 198 hotels in Benidorm on TripAdvisor UK, and like the Vistamar, is also rated 3.5 out of 5 by its guests, again placing it in the very good category. Crossing Calle Kennedy, where you can find the popular Tommy's Cabaret Bar, which offers nightly games of bingo along with live music acts, followed by karaoke, we next see the two-star Alpha Holiday Apartments. Built in 1970, the block has 52 simple one-bedroom apartments over its 15 floors and offers an outdoor freshwater pool and solarium area, along with a shaded terrace to enjoy your food and drinks, which can be purchased at the cafe bar, which overlooks the pool. Jet to offer packages to this basic but perfectly adequate accommodation and the block, which is considered an apart hotel and therefore rated as such, is currently ranked 108th out of 198 hotels in Benidorm on TripAdvisor UK. As we approach the corner we pass a handy vending machine and yet another ATM, then next door we see the Wookie Hollow 2 Sports Bar which describes itself as a little bit of Liverpool in Benidorm. Offering good quality and value British food and drinks, along with nightly karaoke and showing all the live sports, it gets very busy at times and is a firm favourite with many locals as well as holiday makers. 
We now cross Kechayen, where firstly we come to the offices of Hestal Tour, who offer estate agency services, holiday rentals and money exchange. Next door is Bar Las Tablas, which used to be the duty-free sports bar, as you can see by their red awnings, which still remain. And here you can find a variety of drinks offers, a pool table and darts ball inside, except on a Tuesday, that is, when they are closed for their day of rest. Moving on, we pass a Chinese shop selling the usual heady combination of cheap clothes, souvenirs, toys, beach items and neon wigs. And then we pass the apartment block and grounds of Edificio Mon Vert. Next along, we walk by another residential block, El Oreo, and signage pointing to local travel agents, Viajes Olympia. And then on the corner, we come to Shooter's Bar, which now incorporates Voices Karaoke, where you can sing your heart out from 4 pm until the early hours of the morning whilst enjoying one of their many drinks deals or maybe just enjoying a tipple on their sunny outdoor terrace. We now cross Calle Ibiza and after passing an empty unit that used to house a branch of the Caixa Caiosa Bank, we find the British-owned Dave's Chippy. Serving up crispy battered haddock and chips as well as other firm favourites such as jumbo sausages, kebabs and curries, it opens from midday until 10pm, seven days a week. Next door we find restaurant and tea house El Basha which opens at 4pm every day and here you can also enjoy smoking a hookah or shisha pipe should you choose to do so. Adjacent is a small mini mart followed further down by another ATM and then we pass a private walled off parking area which belongs to residential apartment block the Maysan. Finally on the corner we see the May Sand Bar and Restaurant with its plastic walls pulled down on the day I filmed to keep out any chilly breezes that may come along. A family run business, it's open 24 hours a day and sells everything from delicious tostadas for a traditional Spanish breakfast to a full cooked English brekkie if you want something more hearty, alongside a huge array of main meals, tapas and mouth watering spit roast chicken. If you'd like to support my channel and future vlogs by making a small donation, you can now buy me a coffee, or even two or three. Just click on the down arrow next to the vlog title which brings you to the description of this video. Then follow the link provided at the bottom, it's really that simple. Thank you so much. This brings us to Kay Lepanto and the two star hotel Perla in front of us which is currently closed and this is where we end today's vlog. I hope that you've enjoyed this sunny and informative walk along a section of Avenida de Cuenca with me and if you did please help me out by watching some of my other great street walks along with my many other videos which include hotel and cafe reviews, news and updates and much much more besides. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you out and about next time. Bye for now, adios, ciao!